G'day folks. Uh, welcome to a Monday afternoon. Uh, just hanging out in the shop and tidying up a few loose ends. Um, yeah, did a bit of progress on the weekend. No real videos, so to speak of. But good videos should follow afterwards once I get all the tooling and everything set up because I've noticed I'm leaving this out and it's armature. So they're in a ready accessible position, so I'll get stuck right into that soon. That's the uh, Westinghouse 110 volt DC generator. Um, yeah, but nice old beast. I did find my old drawings and things that went with it. I don't know where they are at the moment, but they are... Oh, they're in a box up the back there. Yeah, so the br brush boxes and the drawings and everything like that for the wiring are there. Um, I sort of remember how to wire it anyway, but I'll go over that later. I just got to make some insulation for this. And mate was saying, because the voltage is so low, I can actually afford to just cut strips of material and stuff it between the the sides of these flat posts and it should work quite well but yeah we'll see how we go with that I would like to actually wrap stuff around it like the old ones were it was like a mica a mixture of mica and cardboard and lacquer or something some kind of composite material but being such low voltage the risk of arc over is pretty much negligible so it wouldn't be a bad idea just to lay slats of um, rigid insulation material in between them uh, that was sort of half the reason why I put it off was because a mate was going to give me some material but never came through. But as you can see, tool chest is coming together. Um, fairly easy to assemble. It's flimsy, I'll give it that much. Uh, this is the um, Maxim 72 inch HD cabinet. Done a few improvements on my own. Sikaflex in most of the main joins, like anywhere where there's going to be a lot of movement, even the base panel is joined with Sikaflex. Lock tight on all the screws because the screws are really tiny, but that should hold in a lot better. Likewise, the top to the frame is also Sikaflexed because there's only six bolts holding it in and they're not very substantial, so that's no longer flexible. Whereas before, you could grab that and actually open up a gap in there because it's same grade steel as a lot of computer cases these days. It's not very thin. So, yeah, they're very thin pressings, but hopefully the reinforcing and the other adhesion that I'm giving it, particularly on these heavier drawers, should help make it a bit more structurally sound. So I'm with those two there. All the drawers are gonna get the treatment. Just all these panels and things got it. Lock tight on all the uh, main cabinet screws. I'm not going to lock tight the drawer screws so I can take them out and replace slides and things easy enough. Uh, same with the back here. These slides can all be removed with ease for replacement if necessary and again they're not the strongest of slides but they'll do the job. Come out fairly far. Cabinet in there and again it's Light gauge, that's my only complaint. The gauge of steel could have been a bit heavier. All up, I think each flat pack was about 67 kilos each, so that's including the wooden top. So it's not an awful lot of weight in it. But that's what you pay for. For $699, I can't complain, really. It's just a matter of making my own improvements and making them a bit tougher. Um, yeah, that's the stuff I was using as my assembly adhesive. Likewise, I've got a cheap jigsaw just to chop up plastic casings and stuff out the back. There's some old back covers from old plasma TVs and things which are all moulded plastic and because they're enormous I have to chop them up into little pieces so jigsaw with a fine blade will do that job just nicely. Uh, anyway, yeah they're the screws that pretty much hold the whole thing together. Not very good and definitely no washers. I used up every last M4 washer that I had floating around and just ran out so it's a uh, just a matter of lock tiding and hoping for the best. Anyway, apart from that, not a lot else happening. Slowly getting bits to finish off the Micra. I mean, I haven't started the um, engine or anything like that overhaul, but I'm just finding bearings and pulleys and things like that. Repco's not been the most helpful, neither is Auto Pro or any of those places. It's not a car that everyone stocks parts for, so I'm having a bit of trouble finding stuff. As you saw, I've got a dirty, cheap water pump, which I'm not 100% sure if I'll even trust, but it's worth a shot. 
Uh, apart from that, I would like to look at that heat pump that I got, the really old one, STC heat pump, but no, winter's not the best time for these sorts of projects, it's still a mess outside, it's very messy. And just wet, can't even move cars, like can't even move the micro around the backyard without threatening to get bogged. <laughs> That's how soggy the ground has become, just with the amount of rain we've had. Little cars get bogged, so I just don't move them anymore. Anyway, I think that's about it. Like I said before, I've got another week off work uh, next week. So we'll get stuck into stuff then and hopefully the weather will dry up by then. I'm really hoping this winter goes away because I'm just completely over it. I'd much rather be hot in summertime and dry and be able to move around the backyard on hard ground than traipsing mud and dirt everywhere. As you can see, my crash concrete's already dirty. And that's just dirt, that's just mud from outside. So, yeah. That's what you get in Victoria though. Five seasons in a day, five seasons in a week. Or four seasons, whatever it is. A bit of everything, a bit of a mess. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more informative and better videos than just vlogs. I know I've been pushing it a bit much with lots of vlogs, but I know my dedicated fans will watch them. And after that, I don't really mind. Hell, I don't even mind if I have to delete them later. But probably won't do that. <laughs> videos are videos. As long as people watch them, I'll keep producing them. Thanks for watching.